Welcome back to the garage, everybody. Working on the old blue willies today. Just a few things, kind of had a hiccup, and uh, I'll go that go through that with you. Um, basically, the engine computer did not fit where I wanted it to uh, with the mount that I got. So um, I think if you've been following along, you know that things in here are getting very tight, and there's not a lot of extra room. So um, this is the engine computer that's for the factory computer for this engine. It is large, very large. So um, I had thought that it would fit in this remaining space here. And just the computer, maybe, but probably not really. But anyways, I got this mount, which is a factory reproduction, or actually it's a factory GM mount. Here's the part number. It is 15995679. And uh, this is basically just a, you know, a cheap and easy way. I think this was $16 delivered on Amazon. So there must be a big warehouse of them somewhere. But basically this just fits in. Let's see if I can do this with only one hand. So this fits in here like this. This little clip here. Ha. Ha. There we go. So this little clip fits in there and holds it. And then there's a safety catch here that goes up and retains the edge of the computer. So the mount isn't huge, as you can see, but it's not exactly super tiny either. And that just makes all the problems in this area here worse. So the mount in this corner, best case scenario, gets within an inch of the header down here. And that is just, I think that, I think that's just too close for comfort and um, wouldn't be a good decision, so have to move on to a different position. I have a few more ideas. I am going to sit on it for a day um, and think about it. There really isn't a lot of extra room in the engine compartment anywhere, um, especially room that's not close to the header on that side. So it might have to go in the cabin space um, that brings up the question of how to run all the wires through the firewall for the engine computer, which is never fun. Um, I will talk with a harness builder or two and see if they offer anything like a seals it gasket or if there was some kind of, of factory application that had that option. But in general, just not, not super happy with that. So to take my mind off that, I decided to uh, just tick, tick away at a couple little things. Uh, one of those was the gas pedal stop um, or a gas pedal stop. Uh, and I noticed when we did the, the throttle cable and all that, I was kind of nervous that the, the Subaru uh, legacy, Outback legacy pedal that we used, um, which fits great and is a great pedal, um, but it doesn't have an internal stop or one that matches up with all the modifications to the GM engine travel of that throttle body or whatever. So um, that brings up the question on if you really, really, really mash the gas and you go full throttle and you're at the end of the cable, I think you have the potential to um, wear the end of the cable or pop off the end of the cable or something along those lines. And I didn't like that. So what I ended up doing was just making a little adjustable throttle stop. Um, I started with a piece of three quarter inch um, solid round bar and just uh, drilled and tapped that uh, for a three eighths bolt um, screw, whatever uh, that with a nut locking nut that could be used for um, an adjuster. So I didn't have to get the length just perfect and you can tweak things if you have to take it in and out. Um, but basically just, yeah, did that, uh, turned that piece around backwards um, and then uh, hollowed out the backside so that it wasn't like welding three quarter inch solid bar to sheet metal. 
Um, so now it's like 16th, 80 thousandths wall, uh, three eighths tubing, or sorry, three quarter tubing, where it meets up with the um, uh, floor. And so that's a lot easier to weld. And it was a booger uh, to weld anyways, just because it's super cramped in there um, anyways with, you know, seats, pedals, steering, whatever else. So I did get it into place. It's heavily tacked, half welded, um, and it definitely functions right. And we can adjust it. And then when the body gets torn apart um, for coatings, paint, whatnot, I will finish weld that um, to the to the floor tunnel area around the steering column. It is pretty tight in there. I'll see if I can get you in there um, just to show you what it ended up looking like. Um, I don't know if this will work very well. I'm going to disconnect you from the tripod. Ooh. See tripod, those magnetic mounts for uh, the DJI use, so you don't have to screw the camera around. So, um, but anyways, see if I can get you down in here. Um, but you can see that throttle stop there. Uh, it is. Uh, I just used a, a broader head, like flat head, um, Allen head style three it's like three eight sixteen so i can put whatever bolt i want on it but basically now the throttle pedal stops there and then that prevents you from over traveling the and stressing the cable so um in theory you could even do fun stuff like mess with your buddy's ride and and dial out half of his throttle. So he only has half throttle or something like that. Um, see if I can get you back on here. Ooh, oh, okay. Yep. So that was project number one. That was pretty simple. Um, and then the second one was I started on some of that, uh, air dam funneling reinforcement stuff, um, on the grill to the radiator. And so, um, what I did there was basically, I just started with a, see if I can find it here. I just started with this, if you can see this or not, it'll focus, but basically just bent this piece of, of filler rod to be the shape that I wanted and then got the lengths from the flanges and uh, cut out a piece of sheet metal and bent that up in the mag brake and got that to fit kind of like I wanted. Um, one trick there was trying to mark the holes for mounting um, and clamping everything in relation, but was able to get that. I used a piece of tape over the, the mount so that um, it was easier to transfer where the holes were, just using a pen that I taken apart to reach down through the small mounting hole, um, transferred all that over, and then cut some uh, offset spacers because there is this um, lip on the grill where it is um, flanged so the panel can't sit uh, perfect. So I had to um, build some offset spacers and TIG weld them on the top flange and then the screws just uh, thread into those. So those were threaded and because there is a, I don't know how good this is going to come across, but the flat fender grill is not flat on top, so it has this bow to it. So I had to make the spacers on the two ends different heights in order to get it to sit flat. But anyways, here's the here's what that ended up looking like. So it's just a, a panel that fits in that screws in on the top of the grill. These screws will probably also hold the welting on eventually but um, that just keeps the air from bypassing the radiator here or recirculating um, in front of the radiator. And then it gives me enough space for movement um, between these two panels. And I will probably stick a piece of uh, rubber weather stripping on, I don't know if you can see this flange here during final assembly. So um, the next ones will be, I got to do something for, for this hole around the headlight a little bit. I'm not super sure what's going to look great in there, but probably need to do something there. And then I need to do something, um, right here. Um, because I can obviously just get right around the radiator there. 
And so I think that one though can just be a flat piece that spot welds to this flange that's about a you know extra inch tall and that will keep the majority of the air there. The bottom um, with the, I don't know if we can see in there with the, so the bottom is, is tight to this cross member here. So don't have to worry about anything on the bottom. But yeah, so that was today's little fab project. And uh, a little setback with the uh, computer. Um, oh, I did get the, I did get the right size clamp finally for uh, this like three, six, three, seven inch connection to the MAF airflow sensor. But um, yeah, so other than that little guy, big guy, that big problem right there um, was a fun day. Just fabbed up some little stuff, checked a few things off the list, and uh, that's all we got there. So thanks for following. Whoa, thanks for following along. Hopefully, uh, oh, I touched the camera. Sorry. Um, thanks for following along. If you have any questions, um, drop a comment below. And uh, if you like this video and other videos on this channel, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps with the uh, magic of the YouTube and whether or not it shows up in people's feeds or whatnot. And uh, yeah, if you want to get notified when we uh, have new videos, just uh, um, the bell. Maybe it's on this side. Maybe I don't know. There's a bell. And, uh, you know, all those things. So thanks for following along with the Old Blue Willies Project. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.